What's going on guys, I'm Mark Linsagan from Techno Buffalo, and today we're here to show you what's included in a recent OnePlus One update. This update is slowly rolling out to OnePlus One users as we speak, but we have it right here for you guys right now, so let's get on with the video. So the first thing you'll notice once you update your OnePlus One is that the screen is cooler than before. OnePlus listened to its customers, and even though we weren't bothered by the previous screen color on the OnePlus One, they made some tweaks to give the display a softer look. Whites are definitely whiter, and overall, I'm really starting to like the cooler look. OnePlus and CyanogenMod Mod also upgraded the software to Android 4.4.4, meaning users will be able to use the very latest versions of Google's apps. Also changed is that infamous 4G icon up at the top, which was finally replaced with an LTE icon. Now this update also includes the addition of clear image in a camera app. According to OnePlus, it's basically your camera on clarity steroids. It'll take 10 individual shots in a matter of seconds and stitch them together for a super high res photo. It's very similar to what you'll find on the Oppo Find 7 and 7a's 50 megapixel shots, but OnePlus is keeping the images at 13 megapixel to keep the file size down. Now when we tested clear image, we found it works surprisingly well. We thought it would just be a gimmick, but the results speak for themselves. It works fairly quick, and with the help of software algorithms, it'll make the photo much cleaner and sharper. OnePlus One also made a few changes to the Trebuchet Launcher where you can now customize and change settings within the home screen. So if you hold down anywhere in the screen and swipe up, you get all the options in one place, and if you enable search panel and swipe to the right, you now have access to Google Now, whereas before that wasn't available. And finally, OK Google inside the Google Now page finally works, which is always a great addition to have. OnePlus also increased the capacitor button illumination, though the backlight is still very faint, so the buttons are still difficult to see during the day, but they're noticeably brighter in lower light condition. Unfortunately, there's no options to tweak the brightness of the buttons just yet, so hopefully that's added in future build. And then within the settings app, there's also a new search button up at the top, making it super easy to find what you're looking for. Now if you've seen our full review of the OnePlus One, which we'll link down below this video, we mentioned that the call quality and speakerphone were both horrible and we could barely hear the person we were talking to. In this update, we noticed that the call quality and volume has improved tremendously and the speakerphone is much louder than before. Obviously we can't show you that in video, but just know that they fixed that problem, which is great. I also noticed that in this build, the lock screen gestures aren't as sensitive as they were before. Torch no longer randomly activates in my pocket, and launching the camera app using the circle gesture has gotten a bit faster. Now overall, we love this update. It included some very welcoming features while also improving overall experience with some welcoming bug fixes. Of course, the experience still isn't perfect, but the Cyanogen Mod team is making some wonderful progress, so we can't wait to see what features hit the OnePlus One next. And that's it for this video, guys. If you guys have any questions, let us know in the comments down below. I'm Mark Linsanga from Techno Buffalo. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching this video and if you guys would like to see more make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.